Right, so I'm just going to use my Darchi 450 fire pit again for the second time. So I thought I would kind of show you what it looks like, how it all comes together. I also have the Darchi charcoal starter as well, just for making things a little bit easier. So I'll do some overlay videos of what it all looked like when it was nice and clean and fresh and new. It does need to clean, but I'm going to use it again first. So in this little bag is the charcoal starter. So it comes just like this, it folds out nice and easy. And then there's a little grill that drops down inside, obviously where you put your charcoal. And again, nice, easy handling, nice stainless steel uh, material. I think it's 201 stainless steel. Nice holes of ventilation and some bigger holes, obviously, so you can get in to start things up in the first place. So that works really well. And again, stores in this um, polyester Darchi bag. The actual 450 fire pit itself, so barbecue and fire pit capability, comes in this square bag. Again, it's a, a polyester uh, material with some light padding in to protect the barbecue and grill when you've kind of got it in transit. Nice um, webbing handles, and then it has this Velcro loop tags that you can basically just go through here and keep it all nice and tight when it's not in use. So when you're using the barbecue slash fire pit, obviously you can have it just as a fire pit, but obviously then if you want to grill anything, you want to put the grill on there. So there's a couple of components to this. The, the grill components are 304 stainless steel um, food safe stainless steel. So there's basically various levels that you can put on top of the fire pit. There's a little bit of Darchi branding just there. And then we have the grill itself, which just sits in the top of the other mount, which you'll see in a moment as um, we kind of do some overlay of the video. The fire pit itself folds up for super easy storage and literally just pulls out just like this and then goes onto the base cake that is powder coated. So again, that is um, around 11.5 kilograms altogether for all of this. When you've got that open, it's around 45 centimeters by 45 centimeters and about 44 centimeters high. When it's all packed up, it's 56 by 56 centimeters and about eight centimeters in terms of its thickness. So again, as mentioned, the food safe stuff is 304 stainless steel. The rest of it is 201 stainless steel. It's really good, thick quality material. It's very similar to uh, the Snow Peak stuff, but a little bit cheaper. So it's not gonna rust, it should last a long time and be kind of super durable. So um, in addition to that, there is um, what seems to be, I'm just gonna find it now, a cast iron plate that you kind of put in the middle of the fire pit when you're using it so enough air can get underneath for, um, you know, getting underneath the coals, getting underneath the wood and allowing your fire to breathe. Uh, appropriately. So I'm going to set it up and use it now. So I'll just show you what that looks like. And again, some overlays of what it looked like when it was nice and clean. Okay, so when you put the fire pit out onto this powder coated base plate, there's four hooks basically you hook this all into and it keeps, clips in, keeps it um, nice and safe. Also makes it easier to empty. So part of the leave no trace principles, and hopefully you shouldn't kind of burn the grass and everything. When you come to pack it away, just lifting these up, they flick straight out of the way to make it really easy to disconnect everything as well. So then we're gonna get the, the cast iron plate, put that in the middle here, then we'll get some barbecue um, briquettes into the charcoal starter and get things cooking. <laughs> Okay, so things are lit, so things will slowly start to heat up. You can see things just starting to smoke now. So once the charcoal is up to temperature, 
then we can fold it, fold it, pour it in, and then um, pop the grill on top and start cooking some burgers and sausages. Okay, the charcoal's pretty much ready to kind of empty out into the fire pit. Apologies for the background noise the kids are playing, but uh, I thought I'd mention, I keep all my charcoal and wooden stuff in these Osprey kind of watertight bags. So it just means if I'm kind of doing anything without camping, I leave them outside. They're, if they get wet, the stuff's still gonna be good to use. So let's have a little look. Things are looking good. So again, these will be slightly hot to touch, which is why I use just one of these barbecue gloves just here. So again, if we pop that on and then we can uh, pour out the coals and get barbecuing. Okay, so that's it, the Darchi 450 barbecue fire pit. I think it's a really good barbecue fire pit combo for camping and everything, so definitely recommend. If you're looking for something like this, check one out. Again, it's a bit cheaper than the Snow Peak stuff as well. So hopefully it helped. Please consider liking and subscribing, clicking that notification bell, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.